All right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to do fly as my superpower. So thinking of that saving the environment, that'd be a good one. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be quicker because you can drive in a freight, straight line. And it's fun. That's a good reason. All right, so now I'm going to add my firstly, um, my text connector. So firstly, also, and finally. And now let's think about more, how we can flesh it out a little bit more. So I'm saying pollution is terrible and we don't have to use petrol again. And also we can go in a straight line. Oh, it's quicker and we don't have to worry about roads and no traffic jams. And then because it's fun, I'm going to deciding that I'm going to be the best at tag because no one will ever catch me. That's pretty good. All right, and that, I think, is my mind finished mind map. Now I have done my mind map, um, I'm going to start looking at what my opening statement will be. And so obviously my choice was about the superpower, which superpower I prefer. So my opening statement is the best superpower to have is definitely the ability to fly. So that is obviously what my um, opening statement is going to be. And now because it's opening statements just is much more than just the first sentence in our opinion, I'm going to be adding extra things um, from my, what I have said in my mind map. So I'm talking about saving the environment, um, it's quicker and it's fun. Um, some reasons are that we can save the environment, it is quicker, and of course, fun. All right. Now, so thinking again about my high modal words, so the best superpower to have is definitely the ability to fly. Some reasons are that we can. Ooh, so you can, can is one of those weaker modal verbs, isn't it? So we will save the environment. It is quicker and, of course, fun. Let's add a title to this. Um, flying is the best superpower. That's my title. I'm just going to make it bold because I can. And put it in the middle. There we go. That's my title. Okay, so that's clearly my opening statement there. Now, with my series of arguments, I've already drafted them, so I don't have to think too hard about them. So I'm going to go to my first one where I have written firstly. I'm going to put a comma after firstly, because that's the way we write them. Firstly, so I've said save the environment, pollution is terrible, we never, we'll never use petrol again. All right, so firstly, the pollution problem is terrible. If we are able to fly everywhere, we will, I nearly wrote can, we will save the environment because we will never use petrol again. Good job. All right, next one, also with a comma. Flying will be much quicker because we can go in a straight line. We don't have to worry about where the roads are and we will never sit in a traffic jam again. Hmm. Now, the last one, finally, finally, flying will be fun. All 
I know that I will be the best at tag because no one will ever catch me. That is fun. That's definitely fun. All right. Now with our concluding statement, concluding statement. So I have to once again talk about what my opinion is, my um, what I'm trying to say, convince you. And I'm going to use the, the text connective in conclusion because that's letting us, our audience know that we are finishing. In conclusion, flying is, oops, is the best superpower because it will save the environment. It will save the environment. It's faster and lots of fun. Okay, so you will notice that I've used very similar words for my first paragraph. Okay, so that is there, my opinion, my persuasive 